Welcome to your latest update from the Met Office. All change with the weather. Much brighter conditions, not just today, but really into the weekends. Many places will see a fair bit of sunshine, but it is going to be on the chilly side. And perhaps most crucially, after what's been in some places a very wet November, it does look largely dry. Now, I say largely dry. It won't be completely dry this weekend. This area of cloud is approaching, and that'll bring some rain on Saturday. But ahead of that, let's uh, concentrate on the rest of today, because, as I said, many places seeing clear skies, but not everywhere. There are one or two showers still over southwest England. And notice these showers being fed by the warmer North Sea coming southwards and just grazing the east coast of England. So a few showers here and across the northern parts of Scotland. But for the vast majority, it's dry and it's bright. And the winds are relatively light as well. A brisk breeze at times on the east coast with those showers. That'll make it feel pretty chilly. But elsewhere, a bit of sunshine and temperatures getting up to uh, low to mid single figures, 7, 8 degrees, 10 in the southwest. But here it will stay predominantly cloudy. We won't have as much sunshine. Quite quickly, those temperatures drop this evening. So if you're heading out tonight, just look at that blue taking hold of the chart. Fairly quickly, there will be a frost. Still a few showers across northern Scotland. And fog is likely to really thicken up through the evening and overnight across parts of the Midlands, northern England, and parts of eastern England too. That could be really quite dense and it could stick around for much of Saturday. Doesn't get foggy in the southwest because here there's too much breeze blowing and there'll be a fair bit of cloud around as well. That'll help to keep the temperatures up in the southwest corner, but otherwise expect a frost. These are the temperatures in towns and cities below freezing, rural areas well below. So it will be freezing fog across parts of the Midlands that we see on Saturday morning. As I said, it could take most of the day to clear. In the southwest, the breeze will pick up and there will be some rain. It looks like Cornwall, Isles of Scilly and the Channel Isles and parts of Devon like to see that rain. It could be quite heavy, especially over Dartmoor. But away from the southwest, it's dry, it's mostly sunny, still maybe a few showers around some of the coast in the northeast. And that fog, as I said, if it clears, it'll be fine, bright, sparkling day. But if it sticks around, a grey and cold day. Temperatures could really struggle two or three degrees at best if that fog sticks. Elsewhere, where we see some sunshine, well, again, six to seven degrees. Again, double digits in the southwest, but of course, it won't feel all that pleasant because of the wind and the rain. And that rain just pivots around a little bit more on Saturday evening. Quite a, a soggy end to the day. We could start to see some rain across Somerset and Dorset later in the day as well. But elsewhere, again, most places dry. The frost, the frost reforming quickly across Scotland and Northern Ireland. A bit more of a breeze blowing across the south, so perhaps not quite as cold here on Sunday morning. And that rain should scoot away from the southwest. So Sunday, dry and bright for most places. But again, there will be some frost and some stubborn fog patches around. For the latest on the weather warnings, visit the Met Office website. Well, there's always more by following us on social media.